Hi everyone, welcome to Dragon Image. Uh, with Sempty coming up, we've got some brand new products coming in. One of those great products is Innovative Carts. If you're not aware of Innovative, they do these collapsible carts which make it very uh, easy to kind of pack down and when you're on a set, you can actually pull them up and get everything set up. Uh, because we haven't got them in stock yet, uh, we're gonna show you this quick video from Innovative which will allow you to kind of see how easy and, and quick they are to use. So hope to see you at the show and you'll get to see them live at the show at Sempty. Um. So there are three cart models in the innovative equipment cart lineup, the Ranger, the Echo and the Scout. And of those three, the Scout is our best selling equipment cart. Reason being is its form factor, but also to assemble or disassemble this cart takes zero tools. Now, if you're looking for something with larger wheels, perhaps the use of innovative hydraulic brakes, then the Scout is not for you. But if you are a traveling photographer, DIT, steady cam or drone operator, then the Scout is a piece of equipment that you should have in your kit. So let's get into what makes a Scout a Scout. We've got a top shelf and a bottom shelf, a four inch lip on the bottom, a two inch lip on top. And what's nice about the Evo design is we have these incorporated magnetic latches that keep the latch from swinging open or staying open when the cart's in its upright configuration. There's three different sizes of Scouts. There's the 31, the 37, and the 42, of which all those numbers signify the outer length dimension of the top shelf. And to give you some kind of reference in terms of size, the Scout 37 is very comparable in size to that of a Maglander Junior. In fact, the internal dimensions of the Scout 37 are 23 by 35 inches. The Scouts are manufactured using 5052 and 6061 aluminum. The components are stainless steel. And in fact, some of the components on the Scout 37 and 42, like the axle and the rod end, which are stainless steel, on the, 30, on the Scout 31 are, are, uh, are aluminum. And the reason we do that is we have to drop or reduce the weight of the Scout 31 as much as possible to get it down to that 50 pound mark. And that's one of the reasons why the Scout 31's price tag is not that far south of the Scout 37. The Scout 37 weighs in at 65 pounds complete in this configuration, and the Scout 42, 75 pounds. Like all innovative equipment carts, the Scout shares the same self-locking adjustable shelving system as the Ranger and the Echo. And what's incorporated into that system is a locking top shelf, 12 inches of height adjustability, and the ability for the cart to collapse into itself without the use of tools. Another great feature of the Scout is that you have the quick grip system. And the quick grip system is a shared system between all innovative equipment carts. They're very easy to use. You simply turn left and you can loosen it and have 360 degrees of rotation, rise and fall on the upright post. And this is a great feature to have, especially when you have a fully built cart weighing three, 400 pounds that you need to get over a curb, maybe a flight of stairs, things like that, that you can readjust this lever get better leverage on the cart, pick it up and, and get it over those stairs, not breaking your back. There are two accessory crossbars in the standard Scout configuration. We have a short side and a long side, both of them constructed of T6 aluminum, anodized gray, they are machined, they look beautiful. And what's nice about them, not only are they unique in the sense that they create stiffness to the overall cart, but they adjust up and down and they provide a connection point for accessories like the Steadicam system, the camera mount system, the baby pin mass riser system, and the tripod system using the 3816 tapped holes on either side of the crossbar. In addition to the 3816 tapped holes, we have a pass-through hole, four of them on this side, five on that side, which allow for connection of the cable hooks and the middle shelf accessories. Moving down, we have our thermoplastic hinge brackets, a big upgrade in the Scout Evo design, made from a combination of nylon and fiberglass. They are super strong, but also rigid and lightweight. These hinge brackets are the main connecting points for the upright post and keep the top shelf from shifting while it's in its collapsed configuration. Okay, moving down, we have the load handle. It's a pretty simple piece. It's connected through the bottom pan and the hinge brackets. It's the handle that you use to pull the cart when the cart is in its collapsed configuration. There are really two sets of wheels incorporated into the design of the Scout. We have the rear skate wheels that are used to move the cart around when it's in its collapsed configuration, and the pneumatic wheels based on our aluminum dovetail that are easily removable by loosening the orange lever on the bearing housing. Unlike other car brands, our pneumatic wheel system is manufactured and assembled here in our facility, giving us excellent quality control in the manufacturing process. They are machined from 6061 aluminum, equipped with ABI sealed bearings, and assembled with stainless steel hardware. 
The innovative foot brakes work flawlessly as well, stopping the cart with a reliable mechanism that can be adjusted throughout the cart's life. And although these wheels are 100% tools-free removable, the wheel system has a unique design that keeps the wheel quiet and chatter-free.